Hey, this is Pat, and today we're checking out the all new Alpine Stars Andes Air Dry Star Jacket. Now, I am a huge fan of what Alpine Stars is doing with the new Andes Air Dry Star. So if you're familiar with their line, Alpine Stars does have an, another Andes, it's called the Andes V3, and that looks very similar, but has a waterproof liner baked in and venting that goes to that waterproof liner. So it's a little bit better for the cooler riding seasons when you're out there, ADV, dual sport riding or anything like that, maybe even a little aggressive touring riding, but it was baked in, so it was more for the two to three season cool riding out there. And what I like about the Andes Air is they've flipped that script and moved it into more of a warm, hot, weather riding conditions with a removable waterproof dry star liner underneath and I really like that I think that's going to give a lot more versatility to most of the ADV and dual sport riders in the United States I think this will cater very well to them but before I get too long-winded on all the features and everything like that we'll break that down in just a second let's talk about the overall fit so I have Spurgeon on my left he is six foot three 220 pounds with a 44 inch chest currently wearing a size large now if you look at their size chart that's actually two sizes down from what their overall fit would would typically be and it gives them a nice svelte overall look if you're looking for something maybe a little bit more relaxed you can go down one size and especially if you're looking to add maybe chest armor or back protector into it but if you're looking for a svelte look you can go two sizes down and still get away with it this is still something Spurgeon would be able to ride ADV you know get the, the arms out there get moving out on the bike so definitely something to keep in mind when it comes to it but this comes in at $290 about $10 less than the Andes V3 dry star comes in three colorways and comes in those sizes range from small all the way up to four extra large for those larger riders out there. But let's talk about the overall main construction of the Andes Air. So you are getting a polyester ripstop and mesh main construction. And starting up at the collar, you do have a zipper main entry with a little bit of a garage for that zipper so it doesn't bite you in the neck. And I do like that they line this collar with 3D mesh with neoprene up top. So on those hotter days when you're really sweating, that's gonna be comfortable against your skin. And I did mention, you can see it peeking out at the top, there is that waterproof dry star liner that is removable. You can stuff it away, or if it comes to rain, you can actually wear that over top as well so it is an over under dry star liner but let's start at the collarbone and move down the sleeve here you do get that ripstop in the key area right on the outer shoulder as well as the elbow which we'll see in a couple seconds but underneath that you do have their nucleon flex plus armor this is ce level one it is extremely flexible it's extremely breathable as well and you get that up at the shoulder as well as down at the elbow moving down you do get snap adjusters here at the bicep mesh all the way down the interior which i love that's a high prone area to get air flowing through around the windscreen when you're off-road so I do like that they added that in there and you get a velcro adjuster here at the forearm and a velcro closure down at the cuff as well coming up to the chest you do get reflective up at the uh, each side of the collarbone and then like I said that zipper main entry and you do get two stash pockets on each side of the chest and what I like here is they lined it with mesh that's not going to block any airflow going through to the chest you can add armor into the chest if you want to do so that'll take up a little bit more space underneath so keep that in mind also if you're adding a tech air system underneath this you might only want to go that one size down on the sizing chart just because that's going to take up a lot of bulk underneath there you do have a TPR Alpine Stars logo over on the left hand side as well as two adjusters you can kind of see coming in from the side at the lower waist and two stash pockets that are top loading at the bottom of the waist one thing I do like to is they did reinforce uh, the bottom of the zipper just to protect it from scratching up the tank or anything like that as you're moving on the bike Spurgeon you go ahead and face uh, the left and hit that riding position for me some things I want to call out at the side. You do have a massive panel of stretch up at the shoulder blades. Again, this is a really active jacket designed for active riding. So you want that movement just in case you're bopping around on the bike. You aren't going to be hindered by the main construction. And here you get a great glimpse at the ripstop as well as the laminated construction over top of the elbow. It's a high, uh, highly prone landing area when you're going down. So it's nice that they reinforce that with a little bit of extra stretch at the back of the elbow. You do have these side Velcro adjusters on each side. One thing I want to note is that we would have loved to see a little bit more that velcro just so you don't have to cinch it down as much to get the velcro to mate up but i can't complain that is a good area to have that adjustment especially as you see on spurgeon here coming down to the lower portion of the jacket there is a cinch cord inside of the hem down here that you can go ahead and cinch that in if you need to get rid of some excess material anything like that spurge you can go ahead and face the back for me you do have two pops of reflective up at the upper spine as well as a hang hook you can see the tech air logo over top alpine stars is always aiming to get their riders especially their off-road riders into the tech air system they do have that new 
Tech Air Off-Road. So keep that in mind, you can add that in here if you'd like. Huge mesh panel coming down the back. It doesn't come with a back protector, so keep that in mind. You're going to want to add one in there. That is a key area that you want to protect, so make sure you're adding that in before you start riding. And then you have a lower stash pocket with a top-loading Velcro. You can go ahead and stash that waterproof liner in there if you don't have any luggage on the bike. Spurge, you can go ahead and face forward and open up. Let's get a glimpse of that waterproof liner underneath there. As he opens it up, well, the one thing I want to note is that a waterproof liner is finished, so you can wear this around, say, the campsite when you get off the bike, or if it's something that you want to put over top of, it's not going to look like it's standing out if you're riding it with it over top of the mesh liner, which is how I would ride it. That's typically how Spurgeon rides with his waterproof liners as well. You can see here you do have the pockets to add that chest protector. You do have a waterproof stash pocket over on the left-hand side, as well as a three-quarter connection zipper. If you're adding this to, say, the Andes line of Adventure Pants or any of the other Alpine Stars line, you can cinch that up to it. You can go ahead and uh, close that up for me, sir. So there you have it. That is the Andes Air Dry Star Jacket from Alpine Stars. Again, probably my favorite addition to the Spring 2024 collection in Alpine Stars' line, just because it took what was already a perennial favorite in the Andes V3 and made it better for the hotter, humid riding that I think most people are doing, especially along the southern U.S. I think this is going to be a great option in their line if you're looking to get a new dual sport jacket. But if you have any other questions, feel free and click that info button. That's going to take you over to the product page where you can read other rider reviews and see what other riders are saying about the new Andy's Air. And if you still have questions, our customer service team is available. They're all riders. They're happy to get you set up for your next ride. I want to thank you for joining Spurgeon and I and checking out the all-new Alpine Stars Andy's Air Dry Star Jacket. I'm Pat. I'll see you in the next video.